Hey, what's up, YouTube? Arc Random here, and welcome to my new Let's Play of Splatoon! I have been obsessed with this game, and I've just been waiting to get my capture card so I can play it for you guys. But I am going to be playing in hero mode today, and I am going to go into the first stage. I'm going to show you guys how to get all of these scrolls in every single level. All of them. Uh, I can also show you where each of the levels are, because in some places they are kind of confusing to get to. So uh, I'll be able to show you where each one is, but we're starting on just the very first level, and uh, I've done it a couple times for some practice recordings. And it's pretty easy to get to this first one. Uh, it is a bit off the beaten path, like even more so than later levels. Because in the early levels, the uh, they're a bit difficult to find in some places. While in uh, later levels, they're kind of in a pattern. You'll start finding a bunch of them in the same sort of areas. Oh. There we go. And we launch on to the last, so the next one here. Uh, with this stage, what you're looking for is you're looking for a group of three towers and a uh, and a bunch of octolings hanging out. You just saw it over there on the other side of this wall, but we'll see it in just a moment. That's where you're gonna find the first squirrel. There you go. There we go. You're gonna have to take out all the octolings to get to the next part of the stage, anyway. You want to take him out. Get your way up top. Um, I'm doing this in the post game just so it's because it's easier to show you because I have max possible ink recovery and everything like that. So um, I'm not gonna go running out of ink. Uh, if it's a little more difficult to reach for someone else, oh no, or for someone who sucks as bad as I do, uh, then we'll be able to find uh, a way to do this at, at the end of the game after you've beaten it. But this is where the first scroll is at the top, of the highest tower inside of the box. And, uh, this is a great place to knock out this one octoling. Oop. I said it is. Or you could just suck as hard as I do. There we go. And now I'm gonna pop right over here and leap on to the... I believe this is the second to last checkpoint. Um, over here, the octolings really don't give a shit about you. Just kind of rock on through. You rock on through, just grab your little key, head on back down. Just the same path you took before, or you can kind of cover the ground on your way. Whoop. And pop on to this. Here it is. This is the final checkpoint. And again, the octolings really don't care a whole lot about you until you spawn the last ones by taking the key. Alright, so I got the one key here. There's, oh man, that is the slowest traveling thing I've ever seen. So I'm just going to throw a mine there take them out. Gotta watch out for that guy. He'll do a lot of damage to you. Um, if you're wondering why you beat hero mode, uh, at the end of hero mode, once you've, uh, after you beat each boss, it unlocks a new weapon, and the final weapon is the dynamo roller, which is the largest roller with the hardest uh, paint fling out of all the rollers. And also, finding the scrolls gives you this little touch of information. So this is the first sunken scroll that you'll find. It says, Since times immemorial, a rare type of electric catfish known as the Zapfish has been prized by Inkling Society as a source of energy. In fact, the entire city of Inkopolis is powered by a single 100-year-old great Zapfish. And with that little bit of information, that is how the first scroll goes. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you want to see more of my content, please subscribe to the channel. I'm going to have an episode for each stage and show you where every scroll is. And with that, guys, this is Arc Random. Signing off. I'll see you later.